Hello and welcome to another episode of Laptop Retrospective. This is Think Design Stories. In this series, we will be going behind the scenes on one of the most iconic laptop brands ever conceived and is still going strong. Today I am joined by David Hill, who started with IBM in 1985 and was with them until May 2005 when the IBM ThinkPad division was purchased by Lenovo. Since then, David has held several positions between those two companies, including the Executive Director of Design, the Vice President of Corporate Identity and Design, and the Chief Design Officer and Vice President of Experience Design. When it comes to ThinkPads, there are few people that know more than he does. When you have a design element that works so well, sometimes it can become invisible to the user. It's a natural feeling that you don't have to think about. The scrolling setup on a ThinkPad is one of these experiences. For those that take the time to learn how to use the track point, you will know about the third button between the left and right click buttons above the trackpad. This makes many tasks on a ThinkPad effortless, but did you know how it came into being? Join me now as David Hill tells us this story. I believe the computer that, or the ThinkPad that had the first uh, use of a third button for scrolling was the ThinkPad 600. And it had the button below the two track point buttons. Uh, and it was kind of a U-shaped uh, button that was the full width. Uh, and you, you really had to kind of stretch your hand, I guess, you had to stretch your hand way down to reach it um, and, and such. And I always thought it was very useful because uh, in the internet, obviously there's a lot of scrolling uh, and, and windowing, you know, around uh, through like spreadsheets or just, you know, you know, making a PowerPoint or whatever it's you're doing. So I thought when this technology was first introduced, uh, adding the third button, I thought, well, this is, this is really, really useful. And it seems like it's very internet centric, which the internet was exploding at the time. And so we actually developed uh, some companion uh, keys to that, which there was a internet page forward and backward buttons that were in the uh, inverted T for cursor controls. So the, just to the right and left of the inverted T, there was an internet page forward and back. So you could, without using uh, your cursor, you could go forward and backward through internet pages by just keystrokes. And that was kind of handy. And uh, that eventually went, disappeared because I don't know, the internet got, just exploded more and more and more. And then some people say, oh, if I accidentally push that button or fill in a form, I lose it. So then we had to build some way to disable them for those people who didn't like them. And for those people who did like them, they were mad when we took them off. Yeah, it's a, it's a never ending saga. But the, the button uh, kind of came under the, uh, the uh, scrutiny of, of everyone in development and design when we decided to introduce a trackpad. Mm. Because the trackpad occupied the same space as the third button. So I was like, well, okay, are we gonna, are we gonna put a trackpad on this? or are we gonna leave the third button? It was pretty obvious that we needed to address this trackpad question because a lot of people liked the trackpad and we didn't want to alienate, you know, we didn't want to become the, the laptop that only someone who liked a track point would want to use. <clears throat> it's, just, it's, too, um, it's too risky to just cut off a whole market segment. This is, well, I don't know what that red thing's for. So, so we had, um, I think we called it um, Ultra Point or something. I can't remember now. Anyway, it was the integration of track point and a track pad. So this button, you know, everybody wanted to just begrudgingly remove it. And I, I at the time, was working with uh, John Caritas, Dr. John Caritas, who was the inventor of the butterfly keyboard for the 701C. Brilliant man. Uh, who unfortunately we lost much too early to cancer. But he and I were working on a project which we called Butterfly 2. And it was going to be the reintroduction of Butterfly. 
And he had come up with this fantastic mechanism where only half of the computer moved instead of the whole keyboard like moving like this, half of it moved. And uh, one of the penalties of this whole thing was it didn't have a palm rest at all. So the track point buttons were at the very bottom edge. This is a very small computer. It was uh, you know, like ultra portable at the time, which was you know, not much bigger than a Reader's Digest magazine. <laughs> they were quite small. So there was no palm rest. There was just barely enough room for the two track point buttons. And I'm meeting with John, I, I said, well, I don't want to give up on this scrolling thing because it's great because it's not just scrolling, it's windowing. I can move diagonally with this. You can't do that, you know, very easily with like with cursor buttons or keys or anything like that. This is fantastic. So I had this idea of splitting the two buttons with a third button. And at the time, the uh, original concept, I mean, it was like a blade. It was maybe two or three millimeters wide. Had a little blue stripe on it. It was vertical. And it was in between the two. And so we did some testing on it. We found out that people really liked this idea because it gave them some uh, boundary between the two uh, track point buttons, between the right and left button. So you could kind of, it was like a little, you could feel it uh, because it stuck up slightly. So you could feel it. So like, well, this is interesting. So we fooled around with this a lot on this concept that we were working on. And the concept, unfortunately, mm -hmm. never really went anywhere. But what came out of it was the third button in the uh, in line with the existing two buttons. And then we eventually changed it uh, during development because we need there wasn't enough area underneath this little thin blade to have the switch and all this. We had to make it wider. And wider was a problem because you touched it with your fingers. So we made it shaped like this. So where your fingers touch, it's narrow, and where you where you touch the third button, it's big, and it all worked. And so that really is the way the buttons are today. Uh, and that all came from just the desire to save the third button. And I use the thing all the time. I, I mean, I, everybody I know who's a big track point person loves that button. But but it it almost uh, it almost it almost ended up on the, on the cutting room floor. Uh, thank God it didn't. And, you know, we turned that into a positive. Uh, instead of it being, we got to get rid of it, we, we introduced it as the new and improved uh, scrolling button, which was now integrated in the, in the array of the other buttons. And it's easier to use, and, which it was. It was all those things. But uh, we marketed that, it that way in, in conjunction with the... Uh, the ultra pad, I think is what we called it, the ultra pad. Yeah, I definitely agree that when it comes to scrolling any content, that using the track point and that middle button, there, there is nothing easier. Like, no, it's huge. Scrolling it's with huge. the, uh, like any touch pads that are on yeah. any laptops out there, you know, they've gotten much yeah. better. Oh, but, <laughs> it's just ridiculous. You look like you look stupid doing it. Yeah, and, 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 I don't know. You you do it on a, a ThinkPad, and people can't even tell what you're doing. Yeah, but it works. So, like I said, I was super reluctant to get rid of that button, and I'm I'm glad that uh, we kept it. And it's it's a major feature, I think, now of of uh, ThinkPad and the whole TrackPoint technology. Yep. I, it was one of the selling points of picking up the nano. I was like, nope, it's got to have that button. I want that scrolling <laughs> back in my life. Yeah. I don't know how you can live without it. I really don't. Uh, I think you live without it because you don't know any better. Yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, I see people all the time rubbing their, their touch panel, you know, like this. I don't know. I always see that. I feel like, like a hamster in the squirt on one of those wheels. Right. There's, uh, there's going to be a better way. <laughs>